Getting engaged is one of the first times many of us think seriously about our names and whether or not we want to change them. But it's not a simple question of to change or not to change. In fact, there are at least seven different options when it comes to last names. The most common option across marriages of all types is for one person to change their surname to that of their partner. In heterosexual marriages, it is almost always the bride who does so. This dates back to the tradition of women being legally considered the property of their husbands. While this option has the advantages of simplicity and unity, its sexist connotations make it a problematic choice for many couples. There are some couples, however, who are breaking away from this tradition and consider both partners' names as possibilities. No name change is by far the most common option for men. But there are many reasons that women are selecting this option also. Retaining your own name allows you to maintain ties with your family and perhaps even with your language and culture. And in certain professions where name recognition is important, retaining your surname can be a smart move. However, women who don't change their name are often subjected to negative judgments, just as men who do change their names are. Joining your names together through hyphenation can be unwieldy, especially if you end up with a long name like I have. But it can also provide individuals with a level of freedom and flexibility. It also means that both partners see their history represented in the family name. And while some prospective parents might be worried about saddling their child with a long surname, there are arguments to be made for hyphenation in the case of families too. Because men usually keep their surnames and pass them on to their children, they have traditionally enjoyed sharing a name with their past and their future family. Women who change or retain their names have had to sacrifice one or the other. Hyphenation, Professor Elizabeth Emons notes, allows all members of a family to maintain ties. An alternative to the double-barreled hyphenated surname is to adopt your partner's name as your middle name. You can also keep your original surname as a middle name and take on your partner's name as a new surname. One or both partners may decide to do this. While easier to remember, say and spell, the main disadvantage is that there is still a clear hierarchy between names and one partner may feel their name is being demoted to the less important middle name status. This also makes that name less likely to be passed on to any future generations. Blending and creating new names has many advantages. In fact, I use a blend of both our surnames, Nearfield, as a pen name for my fictional work. Some creative couples are also coming up with entirely new names. Aside from dealing with the fallout of two potentially disappointed families though, there are also legal issues to deal with. Creating a new name, even one that is a blend of your two existing names, usually constitutes a name change that will need to be made by deed poll. Some people find a mix gives them freedom and flexibility. Lisa Green Brown, for example, might be known as Mrs. Brown at her children's school and Dr. Green at work. So long as you aren't using multiple names for fraudulent purposes, you may find that your choice doesn't have to be as hard as it first seems. You can find all of the resources used to create this video on my website, sarahpassfordnearfeetu.com slash you stole my heart. If you'd like to know more about the history of name changing traditions and how they differ across cultures, check out my last video, or if you want to know more about talking to your partner about name issues, subscribe for notifications. I'll be covering my top tips for communicating with your fiancé in my next video. Alternatively, you can find all of this and much more in my new book, You Stole My Heart, Do I Have to Take Your Name? which also covers tips on titles, pronunciation, spelling, and considering the rhythm of your name as a whole as well as dealing with family, social and professional pressures.